Hey everybody, on today's episode we're going to be talking about fricot. Now fricot is a very common dish in all the maritime provinces of Canada. Typical invitation to dinner is vous êtes invité au fricot, basically means come over for dinner. That's how common it is out there. It can trace its roots back to the Vendée region of France, which is central and west, and there's always a lot of potatoes and ham used in certain recipes in that region. I'm also going to use savory. This herb here is brought to the, by the Romans to France, from France by the Acadians to Eastern Canada, and then from there it's spread all over. Now, this is a very, very common dish, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. My grandmother made it this way, and it's very economical. You can just cook your fish, potatoes, bacon, all in one dish, serve it as is with a bowl, spoon, you're ready to go, or I'm going to do like she did. Check around in the garden, pick some vegetables, and separate the broth from the meat. Two meals, one pot. Just like pot au feu. Anyways, hope you enjoy your summer. Here's a quick and easy way to make a 20-minute dish, one soup, fish and veggies. What can be easier? Anyways, let's check it out. Haddock fricot or fricot à l'aigle fin. So we're going to need... 60 grams of bacon, 475 of haddock, 500 of potatoes, 150 grams of onions, and about 15 grams of savory. And you can use any kind of fish you like, trout, smelts, mackerel, eels, salmon, but you gotta have savory. I'm using 15 grams of dried, but you could use the fresh like here. Just remember, it's very strong when it's fresh. Okay, let's get on to the mise en place. So the first step, is to dice the bacon. We cut it in half, cut it along the length, and then you turn it 90 degrees and you cut it into big cubes, just like this. The next step is to dice the onion. Now basically what I do is I go almost all the way down and I follow with a series of parallel cuts, turn it 90 degrees, and repeat that again. Once you're finished that, you just lay the onion down on its side, chop straight down, and you'll have nice fine diced onion. And also, we get on to cutting up our potato. Anyways, lots of cuts, easy to do. All our prep work is done, so let's get on to the cooking. So we put our diced bacon into a pan on medium high heat, and we're just gonna let it cook out, render its fat, and become nice golden brown. This is an essential because we're gonna cook our onions in the bacon fat, and this is gonna lend a lot of flavor and a lot of caramels to our dish. So we just keep it in there on medium high, turn it around until they're golden brown. Once the bacon is brown, we're gonna add our onions. We're gonna fry it up for two or three minutes until the onions themselves turn brown. So just make sure you coat all those onions with some bacon fat and cook it out for two to three minutes until it's brown. Then we add our potatoes and our savory. Just dump it all into our bacon onion mixture, stir it around a little bit. Once that's done, we're gonna add two liters of liquid. It could be either water, stock, what have you. Once that's done, we cover it and we let it cook out for 15 minutes, infusing the potatoes with all that bacon, savory, and caramel goodness. Once the 15 minutes are up, you remove the cover and you add your meat ingredients. In this case, we're gonna add our fish and cook them for two to three minutes. This is very typical of a lot of French dishes, cooked in one pot, ready to go. Pot au feu is an example of this. So we let our fish cook out for two to three minutes, and once that's done, you can put it in a bowl and eat it with a loaf of bread. But I'm gonna do what my grandmother did and separate it. Have broth as an initial starter, and then we're gonna have the fish and vegetables and bacon as a separate meal as well. One pot, two meals, very economical. As an addition, she would go in the garden and cook some green beans with dill and herbs and butter, and I happen to have some in my garden. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the first step, once we remove the fish from our pot, we'll plate it, then we're gonna strain off all the potatoes and bacon and onions. We're gonna put that over the fish. And we're gonna dress it on the side with a little bit of those fresh sauteed green beans. 
And that's it. Frico, a really good economical way to eat. It's ready in 20 minutes and it's really, really good. So explore some traditional foods from all over the world. Enjoy some Frico, everybody. Cheers. Thank you.